We have got a uh, top New York divorce attorney mm -hmm. here, and she's got this incredible book. All right, what do you think she's writing about? She, what would uh, you think she was writing about? How to not get divorced, right? Well, She's okay. telling people why people should get married, which is kind of strange for a divorce well, attorney yeah, in to write addition about. To, but, but in addition to, for reasons of love, she's going to help give us some tips here. Uh, Vicki Ziegler is her name, and she's the author of The Premarital Planner, Your Complete Legal Guide to a Perfect Marriage, and she joins us now this morning. Welcome to Good Day. Okay, so uh, give us some reasons why people should get married. Dave and I are both married, by the way. Right. Fantastic. Happily married, you should Absolutely. say. Absolutely. Yes, yes, right. yes. Come on. Well, Not to one another. There's right. so many reasons, but I think if you don't plan for the marriage and just focus on the wedding, you have big problems, and that's why statistics show 50% of the marriages fail first time. So we need to make sure that you're marrying the right person, right? You're talking emotionally and financially, getting naked before you get married, right? You want to know everything about the person. What's your FICO score? You know, would you marry me? I mean, that's a great question. If you say no, then you have a problem. You shouldn't be going down the aisle, right? You don't just get married just to get married and spend all this money at a wedding. So you know what? You want to get married. You want to be happy, right? I think everybody in America wants to be happy, but most people that are married are what? Miserable. So That's you, what I'm uh, here for. We want to teach people how to stay happily married. Talk about the issues that are so important before you walk down the aisle. So you're saying that you get married, you, you love your spouse and everything's great and you have so much fun when you go to the movies and go to dinner every weekend mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you find out you know, they're not savers, mm -hmm. their financial priorities are different and you begin to resent your spouse? <gasps> Oh, that happens often. Those skeletons come out of the closet. How come you didn't talk about it before you got married? We go through, in my book, quizzes, questionnaires, and love pointers. I want to know what's in your safety deposit box. Do you have an asset in the Cayman Islands? You have some money stashed. Talk about the assets that you have. What about the debt? A lot of us have credit card debt. I know I love to shop. It's mm -hmm. kind of embarrassing. But you know what? When you're honest about it with your partner and you say, listen, this is my debt, how do we pay it each month, and you know what, you can keep your Corvette account, I can keep my Chanel account, but we can happily do it together instead of hiding the clothes in the trunk. I mean, these are things that people don't talk about before you get and married. But if you're dealing with a, if you're dealing with a dishonest person, mm -hmm. some person, uh, you know, might hide sure. that stuff from you, so how do you get to the bottom of things no, but and really know where they stand? Well, that's a really big problem, and that's where, you know, your secrets come in before the marriage. Secrets, they kind of create and become more abundant during the marriage, and that's why a lot of the communication breaks down. It's about honesty. The book talks about looking at yourself in the mirror, the good, the bad, the ugly. We want to be honest with ourselves and our partners. That's what makes a successful, long-standing marriage, mm -hmm. putting your partnership first and being honest about what you have, what you're walking into the marriage with, strengths and weaknesses. We all have them. But, Vicki, a, a, a lot of people don't go into marriages. You're not necessarily necessarily thinking, oh, you know what? He's a liar. She's a liar. <laughs> I think people, I think, keep some of these secrets because they're embarrassed, mm -hmm. because they're worried that their husband or wife or future husband or wife won't love them yeah, sure. or, or will back out of the deal if they say, oh, my God, i got to tell you, I haven't paid back my school loans right. in 15 years. Right. I get it. How do you, it, it almost sounds like you need, um, and forgive me if I, if I mispronounce this, mm -hmm. pre-cana or, mm -hmm. or yeah. you know, what it is. counseling with a finance person as much as you do the priest or the rabbi before you get together. Absolutely, Dave. You hit it on the nose. I mean, I deal with all different experts throughout drafting prenuptial agreements, through the divorce process, so I know everybody needs different type of experts. But my book takes all the information over the last 13 years of practice and puts in the book each chapter what you should be talking about. And I'm not just saying, what, you know, what is your income? How do you save? How are you raised when it comes to money? What are your attitudes towards it? You know what? Do you have debt? And how much? And how can we pay it down? Who's going to write the checks? I mean, so I go through details. So I've taken all that information. You don't even have to go to an expert. You can, and it's smart. And if you have issues and red flags, go to a therapist. Please, I think everybody needs to. But this book, honestly, is going to give people that information that they need. And you know what? If you're planning for a wedding, anyone knows, I know, you both have been married, how costly it is. For 1995, it can't hurt. You know, I'm trying to help people. I've given <laughs> Just them for 1995. I mean, really, come on. Call now. You know, it sounds like you're saying before you get married, you have to look at this as a business plan. And a lot of people don't go into marriage mm -hmm. thinking that. They go into marriage because they love somebody. Right. But you say you have to take a few steps back and really think about this from a business point of view. This is a business partnership. I don't care what anybody says. Of and course. it's okay to say that to your potential I, spouse? It is. It's an emotional and business partnership. It's a fact. If you didn't deal with money, then we wouldn't be talking here. But you know what? When I get people divorced and they come to me, this is a business deal. If you can remove the emotions out of it, we're going to get you divorced faster. If not, it's going to be a difficult road. Yeah, it sounds kind of cynical, though, doesn't it? I think, but it's a reality. You know, you, it stinks. We I, think I, it's cynical, but in, in reality, I think okay. it's practical. Yeah. you got to know, you know, you get married... 
are we going to send the kids to private school? Mm -hmm. Are we going to send them to public right. school? Mm -hmm. Are we going to get them involved in sports that are expensive? Right. Are we going to, you know, where are our priorities? Right. How do you spend money? Right. What, are you I, the disciplinarian? Who's going to do the chores? Can you even have children? I think it's part of a really broad list of things, Huge. which you got to you got to understand yeah. if you're going to have a really good foundation. I think a lot of us get surprised. Yeah. Right, reality-based. Yeah. Listen, you throw things under the rug, you know what, what happens? One, one, you're going to hit a, a minefield. You know, you have to talk about these things. The book is so crucial and so important. I, I really put my heart and soul into it. My right. wife and I talked about uh -huh. all this stuff before we got engaged, yeah. and I'm retiring next month. <laughs> Fantastic. There you go. Because you have heart. that secret account. Well, I'm going to let she does. Right? I'm going to let her carry the load. <laughs> there you go. Thank Vicky. you so much. Vicky Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, sure appreciate it. The book is called The Premarital Planner. And coming up, decorate like a pro.